It's all right. I'm here to help you. Here, let me help you up, okay? Is this shoulder hurting? All right. Let me help you up. All right. Be very still, okay? Put your arm right here for me, okay? Did you fall and hurt yourself? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Hey everybody, it's K9 with ETS Tactical and Survival. And today we're doing a short video involving first aid and injuries. And in this particular case, my daughter Alexandra has fallen and hurt her shoulder. She's in a lot of pain right here. And as I first pull up, I can see there's no bleeding. There's a little bit of swelling. It looks like her shoulder has been popped out of place. She's in a lot of pain. So the first thing I'm gonna do is calm her down. All right, sweetheart, it's okay. I'm here to help you, all right? The next thing is go to your first aid kit or your IFAC um, and grab a cravat or a triangular bandage. It's the same thing, just two different names. And we are basically going to make a sling out of it. Now, in this particular case, you want to have two. This is why we always keep multiple of the same item just in case. Now, these cravats can be used as many different things, but today we're going to make a sling. And it's real simple. All you really need to do, once you pull out your cravat, it's going to make a triangle, is take the bottom corner of your cravat and you're going to tie a knot in it. That's going to be the basis for your elbow to sit inside that sling. Just a small, simple knot, nothing fancy. Once you have it in your right hand, take your knot in your other corner and slide it underneath the injured shoulder. And you want to put that knot close to where that shoulder is. Okay? Now, with this corner here, you're going to wrap it around the neck. Take your other corner here and wrap it around the injured side. And you're going to tie it so it holds in place. Now, when you tie it, you want your tie to be on the side, not in the back. The reason why we do this is because if she's putting weight on that shoulder and letting her arm relax, you don't want the knot to be in the back of your neck pushing down on your spine. So we always tie it over to the side. Now, now that we have her in the sling, you can go ahead and let her lower down her arm a little bit. And there's a reason why when you first start, you put the arm up on the shoulder. The reason why is as we let her relax her arm, it has that tension to help build up. If you start off here and then tell them to relax, their arm's gonna be down and you're not gonna get a good immobilization. So always have them grab their opposite shoulder and hold it until the sling is put in place, then let them relax it so it's held up and it's pushed against them. Now, even though we have her in a sling, it is not still fully immobilized. So this is where the second cravat comes in. You take your cravat and you just roll it up until you're making almost like a bandage. If you don't have a second cravat, you can use a uh, bandage wrap, sports wrap, whatever you can. The second part is real simple. Just take the bandage and you're basically going to tie that arm to itself. So that way, she really can't move it. It stays immobilized. Now this will just sustain you until you can get help. A serious injury like this, such as a dislocated shoulder or possibly a broken arm, you don't want to leave it untreated for the simple fact that you could have a fracture in there or a broken bone where the shards of bone can actually, as it moves, start rubbing against and possibly cutting into muscle, tendons, and major arteries. So. This will just get her until we can get help. Always seek help afterwards. Does that feel a lot better? Excellent. Again, I'm K9 with ETS Tactical and Survival. As always, stay safe, stay smart, stay alive, and God bless. Feel free to check out our ETX Tactical and Survival page on Facebook. Follow us on YouTube, leave your comments, subscribe. We always love your support and your comments. Take care.